the great fire that gave life to her land was dying. Fishers had cracked open tunnels in the cliffs, and great jets of sulfur erupted from the ground. Yet she knew she could use these to her advantage. She hoped to discover from where the strange winds blew. Rhyme hoped he still had time. the gates of his kingdom and found new tunnels revealed by the melting of the ice. The glistening water of the cave ran down the walls like tears, as if weeping at the melting of his world. Both stepped on the bridge together, matching each other's steps. Ember met Rhyme. barrier separated them. On either side of this barrier, each carried their world with them. Neither knew what world they had come to, yet clearly, someone had been here long ago. They rode across the sky. The two caught sight of a great castle in the distance. And over it, a dark shape soared into the air and was gone. Perhaps there, at the castle, they would find answers to what threatened their worlds. Buoyed by Ember's warmth, they rose descended when Rhyme's chill fell upon them.
or who had made these tunnels, there was no sign. Only by working together were they able to move forward. The wreckage of great mechanisms, wheels, and pulleys lay along the path. 